so get the functionality or resources based on the demand and pay the amount is called cloud computing we can very proudly say that artificial intelligence are going to rule the world computing device software or robots that must have thinking power as well as decision making power hello to all uh, heartily welcome to my new session on an overview of emerging technologies i'm revati faculty department of computer science vidyashram first grade college temple of excellence mysuru in my today's session i'm going to deal with introduction about artificial intelligence as well as introduction about the emerging technologies and i'm going to deal with artificial intelligence along with that i'm going to deal with why we want to study or learn about artificial intelligence along with that i'm going to deal with the goals of ai so ai is nothing but artificial intelligence and what is the contribution to artificial intelligence so dear student please take a notebook and to take a pen to make a point because this is the new terminology and this is the new subject so it's better to take a notes and pen make a point of it so in my today's session i'm going to deal with all five topics that is introduction about emerging technologies along with that i'm going to deal with artificial intelligence and why to study artificial intelligence what are the goals and what are the contribution to artificial intelligence now moving on to the introduction so it is introduction about emerging technologies so what is emerging technology so what is the meaning of the word emerging so here emerging is nothing but the new and technology is nothing but once again technology there is nothing but new technology or recent trends in technology or new technology and what are the new and recent technology we are going to have that is cyber security now tell me why i required cyber security and what is the need and why it is treated as emerging technologies because today we are going to live in the digital world and all the transactions all the communications are happening only through the digital technology to protect the digital technology digital transaction i required some security mechanism for that i am having cyber security and the another emerging trend here is artificial intelligence so what is artificial there's nothing but man made and what is intelligence there's nothing but cognitive so it is man made cognitive and it includes machine learning as well as deep learning so the branches of artificial intelligence is nothing but machine learning and deep learning and if i consider another terminology or another trend here is big data so what is big that is nothing but massive amount of data to handle manage massive amount of data i required some technology that is the reason i am having big data and this is the new trend 
and I'm going to have the internet of things. So what is the internet of things? I'm having internet, but what about things? There is nothing but all the kitchen appliance, especially electronic appliances along with car, doorbell, as well as door lock or window lock. And I want to control all these things with the help of internet. And it is called internet of things. In that, we are going to use the internet of things in the field of industry. And it is called industrial internet of things. Along with that, we are having cloud computing. So what is cloud computing? It is nothing but the remote server. And I'm going to pay the money and I'm going to demand the storage. So demand the storage, pay the money. Based on the user demand, the server is going to provide the service and it is called cloud computing. So, your cloud is nothing but the remote server or storage or it's nothing but the asset. And when I want any asset, I'm going to request the asset and for that, I'm going to pay the amount. So, get the functionality or resources based on the demand and pay the amount is called cloud computing. And all these five are the recent trend or new technology or new terminology and it is called emerging technologies. And in the digital world, we require all five emerging technologies to communicate, to share the data effectively. So this is all about introduction part. Moving further, I'm going to have the artificial intelligence. So what is artificial here? That's nothing but man-made. And what about intelligent? That's nothing but cognitive. So man-made cognitive is called artificial. And it is the branch of computer science. Now, Tell me, is it computer system or computer science? So here, computer system is different terminology and computer science is different terminology. And what is this computer science? Here, computer science is nothing but the study about computers as well as computing. It includes all the computer theories along with that hardware, software along with that algorithms. So here computer science is nothing but the study of fields includes data science, data structure, software engineering, algorithm, system software, data structure, networks, etc. So it is nothing but a field and it is used to study about all the fields which is related to computers. So here computer science is nothing but the study about computer as well as computing. So an AI is the branch of computer science and this AI also includes the branches like neural network as well as deep learning as well as machine learning as well as fuzzy logic. So it is a purpose of creating intelligence devices, softwares as well as robotics. I repeat, suppose if I want to create any intelligence software or device or robots which act like human being, then I require required artificial intelligence. So a branch of computer science named artificial intelligence purpose of creating the computer or creating machines as intelligent 
as human being it's the field and it's the subject used to create or used to train the software as well as devices as well as robots to train and to make them act like human being so it is called man made cognitive and artificial intelligence is composed of two word artificial as well as intelligence so this topic is divided into two parts one is artificial and another one is intelligence so what is artificial that is nothing but man made and what about intelligence that is nothing but thinking power or cognitive so it is man made thinking power so what is artificial intelligence that is nothing but man made thinking power so ai is nothing but man made thinking power now tell me who is responsible for designing and developing all the ai devices as well as softwares as well as robots that is nothing but man and man is the one who is going to design the artificial device artificial software as well as robotics and the best example for artificial intelligence is robotics and this is the example for fifth generation computer and if i consider this diagram now by seeing this image we can very proudly say that artificial intelligence are going to rule the world so by seeing this one i can very proudly tell that the artificial devices or artificial softwares are going to rule the entire world now see what is this this is nothing but the supermarket okay now this artificial intelligence is going to play a very important role in supermarket as well as house to control the bulbs or fans if i want to control cars or if i want to make self driving car okay once again i'm going to use artificial intelligence so what is artificial intelligence that is nothing but man made computing device that is nothing but all the softwares all the electronic devices as well as robotics comes under artificial intelligence so you are going to get the question like what is artificial intelligence that is nothing but man made thinking power that means we are going to design a software or a device or a robot which mimic or act like human being that must have thinking power decision making power etc so here we are going to design or we are going to make a system to learn and act like human being that is called artificial intelligence now it is a branch of computer science when i talk about an artificial intelligence just remember it is a branch of computer science which allows the developer to create intelligence machine and which must act like human okay which must act like human at the same time it must have thinking power like human and it must have capability to take a decision that is nothing but make a decision so what is artificial intelligence it is man made computing device software or robots that must have 
thinking power as well as the decision making power so if i consider this image who is this person he is the author or the father of artificial intelligence the question arises who is the father of artificial intelligence that is none other than john mccarthy so who is the father of an artificial intelligence that's none other than john mccarthy now see the definition according to the john mccarthy the artificial intelligence is nothing but the science and engineering it's going to include two most famous fields like science as well as engineering there is nothing but it's the collaboration of science as well as engineering to make intelligent machine it is the collaboration of science as well as engineering to make an intelligent machine especially intelligent computer programs i required artificial intelligent to make intelligent computer program to make intelligent computer program i required science as well as engineering so an artificial intelligence is a way of making a computer suppose if i want to design and develop my own computer then i required artificial intelligence so this is the way of making computer and we are instructing the computer to learn by itself and act like a human being we are going to insist the computer system to learn by itself and think by itself and take the decision by itself for that we required programs we are going to write the instruction and we are going to feed all those things in the computer system and we are going to make the computers as an intelligent machine so an artificial intelligence is a way of making a computer a computer controlled robot so artificial intelligent system are used to make a computer and computer controlled robots or software what are the things i need to consider here i'm going to use artificial intelligence to create computers to create softwares to create applications to create devices as well as robots and it must have intelligence like human so if i consider a software that must have intelligence as well as decision making capacity similarly if i consider robot it must have thinking power as well as it must have decision making power so who is the father of artificial intelligence that is none other than john mccarthy and what is artificial intelligence it's nothing but the man made thinking power or cognitive moving further i'm going to have why artificial intelligence now tell me why i required artificial intelligence what is the need of artificial intelligence so dear student suppose if i want to create my own software or devices i required artificial intelligence the best example i can able to consider here is alexa or siri these are the example for virtual assistant and it is going to assist the user in each and every point so if i want to design virtual assistant which is going to assist like a human being then i required artificial intelligence so 
it is mainly used to create software or device such which can solve real world problem so what is this real world problem okay fine let me to consider simple example here think that i want to call my parents one way take the cell phone go to the contact or recent okay search the number and make a call the another easy method here is that i can able to use alexa or siri and i'm going to instruct the alexa or siri to make a call i'm going to instruct the alexa that call dad or call mom then it's going to make a call and all the ai devices or softwares are mainly used to solve real world problems so here if i consider the health issue or marketing issue or if i want to short it out all the traffic issues then i can able to make use of artificial intelligence now consider this example okay this is the example for traffic control system and in the traffic control system once again we are going to use artificial intelligence now if i consider these lights this is the signal lights and each signal includes camera and it's going to capture complete information about all the traffics as well as vehicle details so dear student to solve real world problem once again i'm going to use artificial intelligence and what are the real world problems that is health issue marketing or traffic issue etc and the another need of artificial intelligence here is with the help of artificial intelligence you can able to create personal assistant now consider the example here that we are going to have different different online shopping website for example say amazon and if i want to make a query i want to call customer care otherwise the another way they are going to provide the virtual assistant and it's going to give the assistant to the customer like a human being for example think that there are n number of users there are billions of users and they are going to provide request if instead of virtual assistant if they are having customer that is customer care employees then it is very difficult for billions of user they want to hire billions of employer now see the problem it's very difficult to manage all the employees and it is very difficult to pay the salary instead of hiring billions of employee they can able to make use of virtual assistant like google assistant siri cortana etc and the best example here i can able to consider google assistant siri or alexa think that if i want to play a music instead of playing manually i can instruct the alexa that play a music then i can able to hear the music and all these are happening only because of artificial intelligence then with the help of artificial intelligence you can build robots so what is robot robots are nothing but man made artificial device and it's going to act and it's going to work like a human being now it's a machine i agree it's a machine okay now we want to feed all the data all the instruction to the robots and this is the example for robots
and most of the scientific and friction movies we can able to see the robots and it's going to act like a human being and it's going to walk like a human being and it's going to talk like a human being and it's going to perform all the works and all the activities like a human being and to make such kind of device once again i required artificial intelligence and to open new path there's nothing but the new opportunities i required artificial intelligence so this is the new path for all the technologies and all the technologies are interlinked or related each other and the artificial intelligence plays very important role to establish new paths for all the new technologies new devices as well as new opportunities moving further i'm going to have goals of ai so what is the goal of ai it is mainly used to create expert system so it is mainly used to create expert system so what is this expert system it is nothing but the interactive and reliable computer based decision making system i repeat here expert systems are nothing but interactive and reliable computer based decision making system and it is responsible for taking all the complex decision and it's mainly based on facts and heuristics the best example for expert system i can able to consider my sin okay this is the example for expert system now what is this my sin it's mainly used to identify the type of bacteria which produces acute infection okay, it is mainly used to identify the type of bacteria we are going to have mycin expert system now i am having cat c a d e t okay this is the expert system it is mainly used to identify the cancer at the early stage so dear student even i am having p x d e s it is mainly used to predicate the degree and type of lung cancer and all these three are example for expert system and this is the system which exhibit intelligent behavior and it is capable to learn demonstrate explain and advise its user okay it is a man made computer based decision making system and it's going to make a decision okay and the example for expert systems are mycin px des and cadet these are the example for expert system to make to develop this kind of expert system once again i required artificial intelligence now to implement human intelligence in machines suppose if i want to make a machine or system to learn then i required artificial intelligence so to implement human intelligence in machines that is to creating systems that understand so system must able to understand the facts situations and it must have the thinking capability it must have the learning capability and it must act like a human in the sense it is capable to take a decision based on the situation on spot it must have thinking power it must have learning power 
and who is going to do all this activities that is none other than machine and who is going to make machine to learn that is human being so human being is responsible for instructing and making the machine to learn by itself think by itself and take the decision by itself and for this reason i required artificial intelligence so what is the first goal here that is to create expert system and to implement human intelligence in machines i required artificial intelligence and if i consider the expert system i'm going to have the human expert and we are going to have the knowledge engineer so we are going to make or we are going to insist the machine to learn understand make a decision that is itself called expert system and now the machine is going to act like a human for that i required artificial intelligence moving further what are the contribution so the contribution of ai that is nothing but what contributes to ai now tell me how this ai came into picture it includes all the fields like biology science that is nothing but computer science biology physiology linguistic mathematics as well as engineering as the father of an artificial intelligence said that it's nothing but the collaboration of science and engineering to make intelligent machine i must have the informations like biological information as well as psychological information as well as linguistic information as well as mathematical as well as engineering as well as scientific information i required because i'm going to make the machine or device or software to learn the things and act like a human being and these are the contribution towards ai so the artificial intelligence is a science and technology so what is artificial intelligence it's nothing but the science and technology that is based on the discipline such as computer science biology psychology along with linguistics along with mathematics as well as engineering and the major trust of ai is the development of computer okay the major focus of an ai is to develop machines that is nothing but computers softwares as well as devices with human intelligence that means it must have human intelligence such as the machine or the device or the software must have reasoning capacity learning capacity as well as problem solving capacity and ai includes the following fields like psychology physiology computer science or neural network biology maths sociology all together we can able to get artificial intelligence these are the fields which is going to contribute artificial intelligence so dear student in my today's session you got information about what is artificial intelligence who is the father of an artificial intelligence goal of artificial intelligence and what contributes to artificial intelligence but in my next session i'm going to deal with components of ai stages of ai along with that type of ai so dear student this ai it is a complete subject if you are 
engineering student then it is a complete subject and it's like a ocean and i cannot teach all the things in depth because you are the ba bcom bca student and you want to have only little bit knowledge about artificial intelligence for that reason i'm going to deal with components of ai stages of ai as well as type of ai in my next session so dear student i hope in my today's session you got information about artificial intelligence in my next session i'm going to deal with artificial intelligence once again but i'm going to give more information about artificial intelligence until then keep watching and keep learning thank you